Joining us now is the voice of Laura Croft, Camilla Luddington, and the voice and body of Scott Amos, <laughs> Scott Amos from Crystal Dynamics. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Guys, so, uh, cool announcement. There was some buzz online today about it. Uh, Tomb Raider, which was up for Game of the Year, is uh, coming to next gen platforms pretty soon in the uh, end of January. So, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Scott, I think you know, people saw the trailer, but they want to know, you know, What's different about this? Tell us what makes this a definitive edition. Yeah, for us, I mean, it's been a labor of love all along, making Tomb Raider. But being able to take it from last gen and being able to say, how can we push that further with next gen? Everything from starting with Laura and saying, right. let's take all this cool technology and make her hair real. And it sounds like a small thing. Once you start seeing it, it's an amazing thing. That's what pissed me off about the game earlier. The static hair. <laughs> the hair looks ridiculous. <laughs> and hair is a big deal for me. So the idea of being able to get realistic looking hair you know, from Tress FX is amazing. Right. But we also want to take our first step at making Laura next gen. So redoing her entire face and making an entire new head for the character and saying this is Crystal's first step of what a next-gen Laura could look like for the future of the franchise. But on top of that, we actually had to go and do everything we could to the world for adding polygons, adding a real simulation of the physics so that we have leaves rustling, we have trees moving in the wind. We have all this new stuff that people hadn't seen before that we couldn't do before. You've got leaves generation. rustling, trees moving in the wind, awesome hair. I don't need anything else. Absolutely. Well, then Although, you don't want all the other DLC that we come with. It. Everything is wrapped into the package. The thing I will say is, you know, some gamers will probably hear about this and say, like, oh, is this just a, you know, a port of the game? And it's, a, you know, I know Crystal, like, you guys actually personally handle this. And this is this sort of a almost a tease of kind of what the engine will look like for, you know, what we would assume would be the next next gen Tomb Raider? I, I would say it's a start, right? It's really yeah. our first step into next gen as Crystal. So being able to do this, we couldn't do it alone. We actually had two other partner studios join with us yeah. almost a year ago. Nixies, who we'd worked with a long time, even since Legacy of Kane days, and then United Front Games, who had worked with Square for Sleeping Dogs. So we actually had two other studios plus a core team at Crystal building this thing over the last year. So it was a really big effort for us. Now, How many Camilla, people? you saw, I was, I was asking no. Camilla what she thinks oh. of the next gen Lara. Think, well, I think it looks absolutely amazing, and I think as an actress playing her, you hope to make her as realistic and human as possible, and then all this attention to detail only complements that. So I love it. I think it looks great. How did you uh, pick Camilla? Uh, I didn't pick Camilla, regrettably, but it's one of the things I'm so glad that somebody did. It was the perfect fit for our game. <laughs> well, Jan, you know, she had to go through, like, the, you know, motion capture. I mean, it's, yeah. it's an involved right. process now, yeah. Joel, for the game that oh, you're going to be starring in, right? Oh, I for my game. The exactly. Joel McHale game is coming out later this coming year. Coming soon. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, it's on iOS. Hair. Um, hair's flowing. <laughs> it's beautiful. Leaves rustling. My, my outfit's <laughs> made of leaves. Oh, it's wow. Fantastic. It's I'll great. get it. Uh, so now you guys obviously have, you know, been, been working on this. It's coming in January uh, on the next-gen platforms. We saw some of the footage. I know we're showing some B-roll now of it. Um, how did, does it play any different? I mean, it's like when you look at it, obviously visually it's better, but tell us about the play and the feel. I mean, is it a higher frame rate, anything like that? Well, certainly the biggest thing for us was as soon as we knew we were going to next-gen and 1080p, we had to make everything look better. Right. So for us, it was more about the visual storytelling than anything. Okay. The story, the gameplay was already critically acclaimed, so we didn't want to break what was already great. So we left that intact, and instead, it was for us saying, how do we make this experience even more immersive? How do we actually put you into this world in a way that you couldn't experience before until we got to the next gen? Very right, cool. We got some Twitter questions, I think, coming in, right, Joel? Yes, On the here are the iPad Twitter questions. Right here? These are the most important questions you exactly. will ever we got hear. got the iPad right here. Let's this see is, right no, I got them right here. Oh, wow. Prompter. Okay, cool. This is from Vogtga6999999. I'm sure you know who that is. They yeah. ask, Dad? Are you going for the same Laura as the last Tomb Raider? I like how she was more human versus just a Terminator. It's, I guess it's, we kind of yeah, answered well, we that. Kinda so, that yeah. Nice. Screw that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rico Case 1, which I'm sure you know as well, asks, mm -hmm. will the next-gen version of the game have a 3D option like the PC version? So for Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, no. Right now, for us, it was just our first steps into next gen. So for yeah. what we're putting out in January, it was really learning the systems, figuring out how we can take Tomb Raider on there, and just basically our first steps towards You got that, future. Rico? So relax. Right. Okay. No, no 3D, although it's cool. I mean, obviously nominated for Game of the Year. It's a great game. Yeah. Uh, so people ha haven't played it, the best version, I'm sure, will be uh, on uh, PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, absolutely for us. I mean, there's nothing like a great cinematic action adventure. And having it now, mm -hmm brought to the, the vision the team originally had, being able to see it for real on Next Gen is just a labor of love for us. How many years has Tomb Raider been around now? It's almost 20 years for a yeah. franchise. That's amazing. 